tremendous and acrobatic save. You got people on their feet giving them a standing ovation. You can have a career in hockey, a career, like a job in hockey for a long period of time. And one of the guys that always comes to mind is you. You've had a career in this game. And I wonder, you know, looking back for you now that you decided to retire, I wonder if you can look back and, and say to yourself, you know, there's nothing wrong with having provided for my family and had a career in this game. Oh man, not not at all. I mean, I'm thankful for for every situation, uh, every situation that I've been through, the highs and the lows. I'm thankful for each one of them. Uh, I'm the I, I have. I have a faith that I think it all happened for a reason, and you know I'm very thankful for the time in the NHL. It was very brief, but I I knew that I could do more elsewhere as well. Uh, so I take it as a badge of honor that I lasted 18 years uh, without being in the NHL because you know there's a lot of funny stories uh, where I played. <laughs> you know I I stuck with it, and uh, that's a testament to the you know my faith and also the people around me, my, my wife. You know, uh, when I announced my retirement, it was 24 jerseys that I've worn, so. Wow, and I can see a lot of the masks up there uh, oh, yeah. all behind you. And just, you know, I just think of the, because uh, you always had a good one. So it was always, uh, it always one of those things. And, and I I wonder if, you know, you go back and you look at some of those highlights and, and, and whether one of those highlights might've been a, an outdoor game in Detroit and, and just what, you know, when you think back on that, what, you know, what comes to mind? Oh, the outdoor game was awesome. It was something, you know, it was something that I've always wanted to do. Um, it, for years, it, those games have been happening and it was something that I just was really hoping I'd get to be a part of. So that was my one and only one. So I was so thankful. And then just to do it with Toronto, like with the Marlies, it's just such a first class organization. They just make every experience special, you know, like it's not a, they they go above and beyond to make sure that you enjoy those type of experiences. And they gave me my first start. I was 30 years old and got my first start. So that's, that's a testament to them. You know, they didn't have to do that. It was near the end of the season. They had just been eliminated. So I appreciated that. So it's a special, special place. Uh, my family was also there. Um, my in-laws were really close in Cambridge, Ontario. So I got to play there twice. I got to play with the Bulldogs uh, at the deadline and went on a really good run there. And then uh, with the Marlies, the two years. So those, you know, three years were really like just so special. My first year with the Marlies, a couple of years later, uh, I, one of the pictures I took very early on was of your stick and why not? Yeah. And I wondered if that continued throughout your your career, whether that is still something that you hold on to as a, a mantra or whatever you'd like to call it, I suppose. Of course. I, so I started that in Manitoba with uh, the goalie coach who ended up bringing me to Toronto, Rick St. Croix. We have a lot of similar feelings, beliefs, and uh, I was really struggling. I was really struggling in Manitoba and another one of my lives that I was down to my last one there and you know I I got traded there and I, I just started the season just average you know very average nothing that was going to keep me going in this to be a professional goalie for a long time and we just kind of had a chat and it was just kind of like why why can't I have success here you know like I'm I'm good enough to do this and anyway since then I, every single stick I've taped has been why not with the with a cross on it and I did it after I knew the NHL was behind me uh it's got nothing to do with the NHL it's got I had a lot of pressure on myself when I was younger because I felt like I I had to play in the NHL which I'm sure everybody does in playing in the AHL or you know you're so close it's just like you don't even mean to but you put that internal pressure on yourself and I think I played my best and I enjoyed the game much more when I realized listen man if you don't play in the NHL as a full timer, you're going to be okay. <laughs> you know? Like what we talked about, how you can still have a career playing the game, and uh, so I enjoyed it a lot more, and I enjoyed the, enjoyed the process, and so I just wanted, even when I'm finishing my career in Japan, it's just every day I show up, and it's a blessing, and I do the best I can. Drew, I know you got a hockey school on the go. Uh, yeah. Tell me about the the gratifying. Uh, way to give back a uh, hockey school gives you 
Yeah, so it's a it's a goalie school primarily for you know exclusively for goalies. Uh, I started it. This is gonna be my fourth year. Um, started it when I was in Europe and kind of realized that at any point my career could be over. So I wanted to have something kind of ready to go. Started very small and now it's really grown and it's been just a, a ton of fun. Uh, my nine-year-old daughter Sally is the goalie, so she's at all the camps, so that's fun. But it was really something I had kind of always thought of doing. I really enjoy teaching goaltending and the game. And so we work on the ice, obviously, but we also do uh, mental training uh, with all all my camps. Um, so we work on, you know, just using my 18 years of experience to kind of, you know, all those ups and all those downs, how to kind of handle them as a goalie. So uh, it's a little bit different. It's not how everybody kind of runs them. I've known you as a student of the game, uh, certainly, and as certainly a student of the position. Uh, is there a thought that maybe you'd, you'd put your mind to, to coaching at the elite level? Yeah, it's kind of the process I'm going through right now. Um, I want to live on PEI. Been, it's, we have a house here. My girls are set up here going to school and hockey and everything. So, But I'm definitely interested uh, in coaching uh, with some, you know, traveling. Traveling is no problem for me. So. Yeah, it's kind of what I'm exploring right now, and I will see what happens. But yeah, I hope, uh, I think I definitely is the natural transition for me, I think for sure.